Yes. Oh, yes. Look at this. I just noticed this. I have a hard standing policy. Anytime I see a trampoline or a swing, I get on it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> this would be the karaoke stage. <laughs> we didn't know what else to do with it, but uh, it was here, so we decided we'll, you know, we'll sing here. Those are tame frogs. They don't want to leave. Love this Pond Guy tour stuff. This is amazing. <laughs> All right, another day, another CAC. This is how uh, waterscapes out here in Ann Arbor, Michigan area. We got Chuck and Brian. Hey guys. Okay, hey, hey, long time up here. Yep. Well, this is a really nice operation here. So you've been in here for three years? Yep, we acquired this three years ago. It's got five acres. Five acres? Yeah, so I got this nice farmhouse right here situated. It had a kind of an interesting, ideal little office area when we walked in. And Came with a kitchen, obviously, because it was a home. Yeah. Which is actually pretty cool. It's not as big as your kitchen at Aqualand, but you know. I mean, and you, you don't really have customers come here, do you, or do you? No, not usually. We've had a few. Uh -huh. But someday what we want to do is build a demonstration gardens outside. We turned this living room into a conference room. Uh-huh. Really so nice. We got this at U of M property disposition. It's an old table from the yeah. law library. So this is where you can meet cool. with your team, go over the job scheduling. Yeah, yeah we write stuff up here. We got a monthly board here that we talk about things. Oh, that's out of date. This is my office in here. Nice. That stuff happens. So you, your goal is about seven hundred thousand this year? Yeah, I mean we're not we're not super focused on the top number. It's more of the bottom number. Okay. Obviously. But yeah, if we hit seven fifty. That'd be nice. Okay. Yeah. Three, three quarters of a million bucks. And yeah. how many guys you running? We um, have eight of us. Eight total owner in this six guys. So two, two owners, deal. father, son, owner. Right. Is this your this office? Is my office. Yeah. 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 Not bad. Yeah. And then you got a pull barn out back, kind of. Yep, five bay garage, so to speak. We'll there. Go out there and take a look at that real quick. So this is a really nice to have a five acre yard. Yeah, and we've got potential, that's for sure. What we'd like to do is back here and build some water features and then maybe, you know, actually have the customers come out and do what we do. So that, yeah, because this is only year three, four. You got a few little displays. Yeah. This is kind of more for us. Extra supplies out here. Hey guys, loading up. Yep. Hey guys. Yep. This side is our like tool and equipment side. Tools up here, wheelbarrows and ladders and things like that. We do a little bit of holiday lighting in the winter. Plows up here. Okay, so you do plow in the winter. In the winter, yeah. not much, but we do some of our good customers. Just residential stuff. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And this side is more of our supply side where we keep the product, much, that much we, inventory. But we we kind of keep the stuff that we need. We are out here in Ann Arbor, Michigan right. with the Waterscapes team, Brian. Yes. And are we seeing a pond? Yeah, pondless. Pondless waterfall, when'd you put it in? 2014. Okay. So Ben, tell me about this. This is a very interesting project. It's actually very fun. We actually built this at the same time. There was a crew that was here building the patio and the gazebo here and everything. So we had to kind of work coincidingly together. So our accessibility was a little tough. Uh, we had to come in only from one angle and we had to start right down here at the Poundless Basin and work our way up. So again, our accessibility was limited, but we found a way to make it work. We decided to go with the rock called Serpentine Rock. It comes from uh, Canada. Yeah, real um, heavy, right? Yeah, very heavy, very, very dense. dense rock. But as, as you can see, it, it's very jagged looking rock, but it's very beautiful. Uh, and honestly, you know, when it gets wet underwater and everything, it's a, it's a very beautiful rock. And you can even see some variation in color between the really dark blue and black and red. So Ben, what I love most about this, it just comes out of the woods. It's designed right next to this cool pergola here, but it, it literally, you can't really tell. It looks like it's coming right out of the woods. Absolutely, and that's what we wanted to do. We had to go right up against the woods, kind of create more of like a mystery, you know? Mm -hmm. So people just hit right underneath there and not even know where the water's from, you know? It doesn't matter. It's just gonna come right out of the wood area, work its way down. There's a lot of curvature in there. So you can see the way it comes down. Plus we added those basalt columns, just add a different element to well, it. Well, you got a vertical element down here. Yep. So, you know, you have the, all the height over here, but you added it to kind of, you know, balance it out. You put a little Mongolian basalt rocks on this side.
So Brian, what would a project like this, you know, entail and go for? So when we showed up here, it was nothing but a grass hill, this entire backyard. We had okay. a small patio before, so it was a clean slate to work with. Really didn't have much elevation. We had to build up a lot of the ground. What we did was we talked through a few different design elements. We worked, picked out the rock, these serpentine boulders, pretty close to like a black granite, dark rock. We used the large pound of skate from Aquascape with the 48,000 variable speed pump. We loaded a few extra LED lights in there. We had an additional 10 feet of river. So something like this, typically around $30,000. Nice. What an incredible investment. And you know what? This is just absolutely, what a great space. They've got a fire pit under here. Got a little outside living area in here. Wow. Look at this I don't want to leave I just want to hang out here all day and listen to that and of course there's a book sitting right here and why not when you've got that to overlook it one of the things that will make this sound is it's concaved back there and whenever you do that you have an echo chamber that is actually hitting gravel which will be a higher pitch sound when it falls directly into water it'll be a lower pitch sound we got a beautiful, I love the bench right here. Explain this project. Well, this project started off as another pond actually that was already here. It's a little bit smaller and was leaking like crazy. So the customer got a hold of us and wanted to know what's going on with the pond. Saw multiple things wrong with it, introduced her to the Aquascape system, and we installed the medium pond kit here. So it really fills up the front entrance area nice. Yeah, that's, that's nice because everybody coming up this driveway and then you walk right here, there's a nice little bench to sit next to. When did you build this? Uh, last fall. Okay. Well, how long would a project like this, Ben, take you guys? Well, I had a couple of new guys. It was a very good opportunity to train a couple of new guys. It was just me and two guys ready for the driveway. It was very nice accessibility, and we were able to complete it in, uh, I think, just two days. Okay. So nice and fast, kind of one day rip out, one day right back in. Same rocks and everything, same shape. We did make it a little bit deeper, but that was about it. We reused everything uh, just with Aquascape products. Signature Series Skimmer. We've got a Bio Falls up here. We've got, I see an automatic dosing system. Pump, plumbing, liner, underlayment, rock work stream, frogs. <laughs> Two frogs right there. What would a project like this run from uh, Waterscape? Depending on what's here, accessibility, I would expect it to be about 10 to 12 grand. So for 10 or $12,000, you could have a custom entranceway to your house that everybody that comes up would notice. That's right. Good work, boys. Thank you. Can you show me how the uh, skimmer and the doser works? Yes, yeah, this is the uh, Sinkspear skimmer, newer style. A little bit of debris in there right now, but mm -hmm. actually one of my favorite things about this skimmer is if you want to access the pump, you don't have to get your hands all underwater, and especially when it gets in the fall time, you have to get leaves out. You can actually close this uh, skimmer yep. right here while the pump is running, and it drains right down, and then you can access all the leaves, debris. Yep, so you can there actually you just get right through there, stuff that goes in there. You just dump it out, dump it right put it back in. Yeah. Yep. Super efficient. Way better than yep. the other stuff. Yep. And then explain how the doser works. So the doser is like a little IV for your pond. You set the amount of gallons that the pond is to it, and it just adds in a little bit of product every single day. There's four different types of products you can get for the pond itself. Stuff to keep the water clear, just general um, beneficial bacteria to keep the maintenance low. If you have fish load, you can actually get proteins and vitamins for the fish as well. So. Uh, depending on what you're looking for, it's a four-step system, but it, it, it does a really nice job keeping the pond clear all year. Amen. Hey,